Over here, he's there. Yep, big shot. Alright guys, we were out at the beach, got some fresh bait here, kind of fresh, frozen, still frozen, dang, I should took it out earlier, it's going to suck the hook, I might just put this one out for now, got a little jack, why is it still connecting, that's weird, I don't like that. A little difficult with the drone. I had trouble with it connecting, but it looks like we finally got her going. So we're about to start fishing instead of these pompano rigs. But pompano fishing is fun, but I like feeling that tug tug, you know what I mean? So I got a little piece of jack out. I'm gonna put this braid down. Well, let's get her up now. Should be good to go. Water's super clear right now. All right, we'll drop them right here. It looks pretty good right here. Nice deep hole. Return to home. Money. Take that cameraman, Ron. Right on him. Right on it. Oh, kind of right on it, but you know what I mean. The bait's still kind of frozen with a fat chunk of bonita. Fat chunk. I'm gonna get this bad girl out now. The fish come right here. We'll put two pieces on. This is just the experiment color he made me, gave me. And I got some OP shrimp that's been soaking. For about a day now, maybe a day and a half. And I, would, I got a small sandbar right in front of me. They got a big gut, I mean a big deep hole in front of me and a small sandbar. So I'm going to try to whip that thing as far as I can. And hopefully get it right over that sandbar. I should be able to though. No problem at all. Especially with that 12 foot dagger. Let's see if I can get it over that sandbar. Fix my frisky fins weight. Tighten that drag up and whip this thing. Hope the shrimp don't fall off. Right on the back side of the bar. Let's go. I'm not sure what this is guys, but he hammered it. I was just sitting on my phone. And my poem was in the water. Whew. Guys, I hope it's what I think it is, but I think it might be a bluefish. I don't know, it's running like a pompano. That'd be amazing. Yeah, it feels like a pompano, guys. Guys, I hope it is popping up. Come on. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. I think it's a big popping up, guys. Big popping up. Let's freaking go. This is what I've been after, guys. Monster popping up. Let's freaking go. Right in the first cut, guys. Right in the first cut. Look at this tank right here, guys. That is an absolute tank of a popping up. Oh, 
That is insane. Let's go. Monster popping up. Super long. He is 100% coming home with me. Oh, I'll get a picture. All right, guys. This is the number first popping I caught in the fall run. She is a nice one. Super long, not as thick, but she's definitely going in the cooler. Oh, let's measure. Papa Gill is a measure. Let's go. She. Oh my gosh. 15 and a half to the fork. Yeah, 15 and a half to the fork. Let's go, baby. That's a stud. He's jumping. I don't know if he's still there or not. There he is. He's there. Yep, big shot. Yep. Good shark. He's jumping like crazy, guys. He is hooked up. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this jacket out. Big shark. Freak yeah, let's go, baby. I see him jump. He's heavy. Very heavy. I was gonna take off again. Oh my gosh, he is heavy. I wonder if I got him like, he's wrapped up in a leader now, that's why he's not fighting so much. This is a big shot though. Very big shark. Very big shark. Oh, look at this rod bend, guys. This thing is massive. There's a bunch of birds working over there too. Oh my gosh. He's coming in though. I think I might be dragging him backwards. This is not good. He's got a video tape me. I prefer him not to. God, he might just be wrapped up in a leader. <sighs> 13 foot ninja dagger. What the heck is going on? This is weird. He was jumping like crazy and it's like dead away. Hope I ain't. <clears throat> There's some snake. Oh, this bonita busting right in front of us too. A bunch of bonita. Way out there now. Oh, this guy's heavy.
pretty sure he's wrapped up in my leader. There he goes. There he goes. I'm pretty sure he's wrapped up. He didn't like that sandbar. Oh no, I missed a guy. <laughs> if you look on my fishing rod, I missed a guy rigging this pole up. There he goes again. Hope he didn't get off. Nah, he's there. He's there. He's coming to the beach. Oh, he's right here. I see the line coming across the beach. It's a strong fish. Whew. I didn't bring him this way. Strong booger. Come up on the beach. Come up on the beach. He's a big one. That's a big shark. Big female black tip. There you go. All right, hooks out. Beautiful. Thank you. Just hold it one second for me. Come on, baby. I'm gonna let you go. Come on. Come on. There she goes. Yeah, let's go. Whew. Thank you, boss. I appreciate hey, you. Was, thank you, man. That was a nice show. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> you guys, you swam off good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate They're it. So strong. They are. Yeah. They are really strong. Whew. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for today. We're gonna go ahead and take this popping up back to the back to the kitchen, cook her up and have a delicious meal. I'm excited, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm out of breath. Love that beautiful um, female black tip. I love to see them still here. They jump, they go crazy. They're so fun to spin and tackle, especially on that Ninja Dagger 13 foot Taz Line braid. Shout out to all my sponsors, guys. Field, Ninja Dagger, Taz Line, and Frisky Fins. Those are the new shock we're about to drop sometime. Um, in the next week or so, so be able to look out for those and let's get the kitchen. Let's get eating guys. I'm pumped All right guys, we made it back into the kitchen got my pompano all flayed up If you don't know how to clean pompano, I do have a video I made a long time ago So just be sure to check that out I'll probably leave the link up here somewhere But I'm gonna make some pompano sliders. I got my bread right here on my side right here Got the bread got the pompano and I'm gonna use this kinder smoked onions and jalapenos if you have been watching the channel, you know we're a huge fan of the Kinder. Uh, we're not sponsored by any means, but we just like the Kinder seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle both sides a little generously. With this seasoning, it's going to got me sneezing. I don't see it now. Pat it in. Make sure you get a nice coat. But if I did not mention, we are making pompano sliders. We're making pompano sliders, just a little take of fish sandwiches. Something quick for college football, you know. It's going to be good, delicious. Made some homemade pickled onions as well. All right, pat her down. Got my pan heating up right here with some olive, fresh olive oil. Just make sure you coat the pan. 
Make sure it's hot enough so when you put the fish in it starts to sizzle. You don't want it to be cold and then you put the fish in. You don't get a good crust that way. So let that heat up. All right, pan's hot. Hear that sizzle? We'll lay our pompano down. And we'll let that cook probably about two, three minutes on each side. These smaller pieces probably be a little less than that. All right, guys, we got a pan here. We'll put some butter on the pan, kind of generously, very generously. That's very hot. And you got this bread we ought to cut. These are Hawaiian rolls. I'm just gonna put them down, get them a little toasted for our little sliders. Mm, I just burnt myself. All right, guys, we got a toasted Hawaiian buns. We got a fresh pompano. And the first thing we're gonna do is add some Duke's mayonnaise. Favorite mayonnaise right here. If, you don't, if you're not using Duke's, I don't know what you're doing. So we're gonna put some mayonnaise, because I like mayonnaise on a fish sandwich. Just like so. I might do both sides, because why not? Take our fresh pompano, layer down. A little sneaky piece for myself. This is gonna be my favorite part. I made some homemade pickled onions. I had a red onions, purple onions, whatever you wanna call them. And I love these things, I put these things on everything. I'm gonna take some, about to run out, gotta make some more. I'm gonna put these all over the sandwich. And give it that nice little acidity, that little twine, twine. Get a little more. All right, take our, put it on top. Let's see, you got into six individual cuts. So I'm just gonna cut it here. Cut it here. I would just eat it all by myself, but then <laughs> cut up each individual side. Time for the first bite. Let's grab one. There it is. Papano, slider, pickled onions, mayonnaise. Let's dive in. That is so good. Mm -mm -mm. The pickled onions really just set it off. This is delicious. This is really good. Perfect for like football game days and you got some fresh fish. Had to go in for a second bite. But that's the video. I'm gonna get to eating. I'm starving. My fast has ended. <clears throat> so if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment below, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time. All right, here's the sandwich. Maya wants to try some, some fresh pompano. Try a bite. Mm. Is it good? You like it? All right, chew your food. You want that whole sandwich? You gonna eat it all? You give it a thumbs up? All right. Make sure to subscribe. That's right.